Okay. Hi, everybody. Oh, goody. Nope. Hey, well, Governor, I'm going to introduce you now. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hi, Morgan. <laughs> Since I know you're here. Um, so, obviously, uh, we're lucky. Um, not every state has a Democratic governor, and only one state has a Governor Jared Polis, and that would be Colorado. Um, as hard as what we're facing is going on, just thank goodness we've got the leadership we do locally. I know he has been dealing with a tapped unemployment fund, the COVID crisis, every single day with updates, doing everything we can at the state level, and hard, hard budget decisions that are going on, wildfires that are happening, uh, and still managing to really just show us how it all can be done. Um, I really do wish every state were as lucky as we are, but um, I'm glad we are where we are. Um, this has got to be a trying time for anyone to be uh, leading the state where we're at. Um, Governor, you're doing an amazing job. We're grateful for your work, and we're happy to have you join us. And I'm going to, if you guys want to turn your Zoom to speaker view, that will help ensure that you can actually see Governor Polis as he's addressing us. And I am going to turn it over with a big welcome to Colorado's amazing governor, Jared Polis. Good morning, Jared. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh-oh. <laughs> I was expecting, as you all were, the day. Oh, fully. Uh, I know the hotel was going to be, what, two hours, an hour and a half, and they can... Yes, Governor, your sound is cutting in and out. Everybody, but uh, you're all still delegates and get to cast your ballot, but we want to make sure that everybody is safe, uh, of course. And uh, that's why we're doing it in this virtual way. I'm looking forward to being part of the DNC. You know, my first DNC, I was just a humble volunteer, uh, was 92. This would have been my seventh uh, DNC. I've been to the last... Um, and I guess I'm going to this one. I guess you're going to this first. Um, sure. As you. We're interfering. We have great you know, delegates. <laughs> a, shout out, a shout out, of course, to our Joe Biden delegates. <laughs> and I, if there's a few uncommitted delegates, you get you get a uh, shout out too. Congratulations! Yay, all our delegates. Uh, uh, yeah, that's Morgan. That's Morgan. Congratulations. Uh, you know, uh, this is exciting to see this broad coalition of the Democratic Party, uh, really even represented by the candidates you guys support. So, I mean, you have on one hand Mike Bloomberg, who's like super capitalist, like one of the wealthiest people in the country. Then you have Bernie Sanders, who's a socialist, and then you have Joe Biden, who. Uh, is acceptable as a Big Ten candidate for everybody. I mean, it's like Republicans like John Kasich and uh, Bernie, socialists like Bernie Sanders and really everybody across the continuum because we all know that he's going to do a better job than his opponent. And these days, these days, a better job is a matter of saving lives. You know, in good times, we all want a president we can be proud of and we knew we didn't have that in Donald Trump. But it's about more than pride. Uh, in these times. It's about the fact that America has more casualties from the pandemic as a percentage of our population is just about any country. Um, that there's no plan for national testing, for national tracing, unlike countries that have successfully dealt with this. And does that surprise any of us with what we knew about this guy? No, it doesn't. Uh, he shirks responsibility uh, and peddles in misinformation and lies. And, and, and as I said, some people find that entertaining. But it's certainly not entertaining when people are dying. Right. And this country deserves a president who's going to assemble the right team uh, to successfully battle this pandemic. And, of course, the economic... ...time for Colorado. Hard time for Colorado. Losing their homes can't make their rest state hell, but we need a national response. Now, we're still hopeful that thanks to the hard work of Speaker Pelosi, uh, we'll get President Trump to agree to a something uh, for the economic recovery uh, over the next few weeks. But it shouldn't be trying to force on a reluctant leader, that mantle of leadership 
to lead our country forward with humility, with intelligence, with sensitivity. And I know that that's who he is. I, uh, I've known Joe. I've worked with him for, I was in Congress 10 years, eight years of that. He was the vice president. He spoke to our caucus. I got to know and work with him. And uh, he has the respect of people from across the ideological spectrum or across the geographic spectrum of different races, of different genders, because he's an honest, hardworking, humble man uh, who will do his best. And I'm confident that his best will lead our country forward. So I'm excited uh, to be joining so many others uh, in launching forward the candidacy of Joe Biden for president of the United States. And we need all of us to get on board to do it. Uh, Colorado is a must win state. You know, it was one thing when we were a state that we, we tried hard to win uh, and, and we didn't, but in this, in this, in this, uh, in this race, I don't think there's a realistic route to the presidency that doesn't go through Colorado with all of the, all of the threats that we're hearing. In fact, I'm on way now, my way now to do a press conference with Jeremy Griswold about securing the mail-in ballots. Uh, and we're working hard on that with all the threats to the U S postal service, with all of the uh, misinformation being peddled. We know that Coloradans are smart enough to see through that and it's up to us. Uh, those who are most active in the Democratic Party, those who participate in the nominating process, those have the opportunity to be virtually present while Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are nominated to be president and vice president. Uh, it's up to us to work work. hard in the field, on the phones, and if permissions allow at the doors to make sure that we can return to normalcy, that we can move forward, and that we truly can recover some of the greatness that ironically has been lost in the last four years of this presidency. Please join me in supporting Joe Biden and Kamala Harris for President of the United States. Thank you for being activists, for Bernie, for Mike, for Joe, for Uncommitted. You're all doing amazing, great work. Some of you might have even had other candidates before they dropped out. Elizabeth Warren, uh, Pete Buttigieg, so many great candidates that really lit us up and got us excited, all coming together now to make sure that we can elect Joe Biden, the next president of the United States. Thank you. Back to you, Morgan. Awesome. Thank you, Governor. I think we mostly got most of that uh, with a few sound in between. So 